Hello everyone, VHG2D here. It's been a while since I posted a tutorial, so I thought it was time for one. Today I'm going to be showing you cliffs. Some of the hardest things to make, but this is not exactly a cheap way out, but it's it's a good method f and it's easy. All right, so just first grab a texture to out and score let's just take this texture right here now we're gonna go on the grid and we're gonna make a rectangle doesn't matter how high but it depends on what you want and then we got this big rock figure the scale for for me right now doesn't matter because I'm not trying to make it a certain size but when you're mapping, you might want to make it a certain size to fit your map, obviously. So when you get this block, go to the cut tool, go down in your grid. Don't cut it, just make a slice through it. And to change modes, just hold shift and press X to change modes. And hit enter to create it. And then you keep going down the line like this until you have as many as you want. Then once you've done that, you're going to go into the 3D view, click on the first block, vertex manipulation tool, and then you look in your grid here. You'll see each vertex. You just click on the corner one next to the new block or any corner one this one could be going out that way but sure and then you would take each corner and move it only in up down left right or diagonal directions don't choose any other manipulation point or it'll all mess up so do that and you just connect them you connect each of them It's, it's a pretty good method, you know. Yeah, you know. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, I don't know if I can do that. Can't go too far. You can't go past the block. The other, th you can't go back past the next block like I, like this this corner can't go past that block or it won't work just like you just saw so we can do that yeah I can do that but it can be on the same line. Yes, that works. Actually, it looks kind of weird, but oh well. And you just keep doing this till you get a figure that you like. It has to end here. I'll throw that out like that. Good. Finally, you know. Alright, then once you have a figure like this, something like this, it doesn't have to look like this, but you select all the brushes, and then you go up and you duplicate it. And then you click until you get to the four square mode, and then you just drag it back. And then you duplicate that again, align that, the next duplicate grids. And you can either do another thing like that, either have it go in or go out more. So you could have it go go in, you could duplicate it again. You could have it go in some more or go back some more. 
could have it look like that. And then you have eh, a pointed cliff in there, but still looks good. Now, I don't know if you can do this. I'm just testing something right here. I'm going to take these bottom brushes and I'm going to throw it in the middle to make it not look so pointy up in the middle there. I don't know if I can do that, but I'm going to try. Nah, probably wouldn't work in the compiling mode. But if you just... See, don't have to make it so pointy. Take the top row. That 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 will work there you have it some nice looking cliffs and might want to fix the textures though make each one face and they just keep clicking right clicking on each new block or brush there we go keep doing that Good. Now we have some neat looking cliffs. Neat cliffs, I'm going to call it. And let's just make some outside, like, grass for it. You know, I liked that grass that was there. I'm going to take this. I'm just going to make some neato ground. Nothing special. I wonder what the scale is to the player. Eh, not that big. Eh, kind of big. Anyway, I think what I'll do is I'll put these on each side of the cliff. You're going to have to make those touch if you want it to work. Rotating mode. There you go. You got Gordon Freeman stuck in here. At a sky. There you go. Light environment in there. Nope, light environment. There you have it. And I will, indeed, in fact, show you what it looks like in-game.